Mr. Morgan. Oh, hey, Dad, and welcome back, cowpokes. You okay? To another episode of Hey Dad Games. That looks Red Dead fun. Redemption 2. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Uh huh. You know, we've been gallivanting around and exploring and taking our time for a little while now. And uh, I think we're going to get back to the main mission here pretty shortly. Join the party here, Morgan. All right. You all right? I'm surviving. Lenny. Hello, Arthur. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, now somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Idiot. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had... Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head hmm? And we really afford 
to be fighting on all these fronts. And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm, because I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense, too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Okay, then. See how this goes. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, 
Still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them yeah. all back. True. He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. <laughs> They didn't meet me back at the fork in the road. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Of my boys. Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cone, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him, they forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you.
Liquid Carter has in the wound. <clears throat> doing down there it's one thing torturing a man it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland we better hurry it up I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef <clears throat> Made it out. Didn't run into anyone looking for us or coming for us. And our horse takes a uh, break when we arrive. Arthur! Arthur? Arthur! Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. 
Miss Grimshaw, I need help. <laughs> Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Hey there. Morning, Arthur. You look fine. Okay, Arthur. Well, don't let me interrupt the beauty routine. Sorry, ain't much company right now. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. Morning, Arthur. There he is. Good morning, Arthur. Uh, 
Hey. Mister. Come on, girl. Yep. Good morning, Arthur. Miss Grimshaw. Yeah. Easy there, girl. Hey, have a lift, girl. <laughs> Good girl. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. There we go. What the hell's wrong with you all? You hardly said a word. Just feels like we ain't getting nowhere. It's the end of the century. It seems like we ain't much further on than we was in 65. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We can still live free. We can still say we don't recognize you or answer to your laws. Better to be one man living the truth than a million living a lie. Let me tell you something. Now, you all know that most of us old timers, we fought alongside each other. Third of them. Holy shit! for you fellers.
Let's reach Rose. Five minute dash. Miss <clears throat> Rose is actually. You alright, girl? Good girl. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah, yeah, we're only just I shouting it in the middle of the entire... Listen, I know up. these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... Shit! See that? 
Those cowards are running away. Looks like... Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where? You so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. He's we probably right about that. Far worse than you. A hundred times. But now this whole town's pretty much murdered. This like, is the Gray's town. Always has been. Always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Yet. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you. Don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Shit! Sean, Sean, Sean. He was a good kid. Well, he how was. the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. What's so funny is the reminder before you go in there, like, can't use weapons while you're in Rhodes as the deputy. And then... Whew. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Everything there is on lockdown. I'm gonna go to San Denis quick before I head back to Clemens Point. <clears throat> well, nice. I have that in my fast travel now. Didn't think I'd have to play that far. How are 
Très bien, merci. Oh, quel soulagement. Une très belle soirée à vous. Hey, my no, mistake. Sorry, Mr. My mistake. Please, no. Oh, you bastard. Or hey, I think that fellow might have just picked your pocket. I mean, shot. What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. I never seen anything Please, like that. Please, again, Morton. Come on, well, Morton. You No call for this at all. I think this is mine. Let's try that again. Everything you need and more in there. You have exceptional taste. Wear it well. Now that will bring your outfit together. And there we go. Much appreciated. And there you are. Now that goes with just about any outfit. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? Well, all right then. You will look fantastic in these. Thank you. You'll be getting a little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that. That is one of my favorites. Now that will bring your outfit together. I feel almost human. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. We are Thank starting you. to get to the point where I have enough money to just buy out. Now that goes with just about any outfit. Oh, that's beautiful. We're treating ourselves with a little shopping therapy. Thank you very much. Thank you. I 
I feel almost human. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that. Excluding yours truly, of course. Thank you. See any burn through? Much appreciated. 100, 200 pretty quick. You'll be getting a little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that. Hmm. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that, excluding yours truly, of course. Me, <clears throat> we're getting close to owning everything. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. I have to say, that looks just fantastic right. on you. Right fortune. Are you here. looking for something to go with what you just bought? Anything you'd like to buy, please bring it over now. We are closing.
If there's anything else that has piqued your interest, don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks for your assistance. Hurry up already! Hush, damn it! Hey, hey, Spark, where'd he come? Just like they tortured Joe Spark! That's what you call swift vigilante justice, at least. Yep. Anyone after last time, you're out. Hmm. Tell me what you want or get out. I just want to upgrade my son. I can see you look after your firearm. That'll give you a real edge. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. Ah, uh, stability. That's going to be great. Spread potentially. You are so pretty. Who's everything? Not well, I'm afraid. Doing all right? Hello, sir. Don't think I've ever seen you walk up a sweat. Do you realize how rare this is? Are you going to buy anything? Just 
I'm gonna go ram. Either you this buy something like or you back. leave. Um, sir, I'm spending money. Ah, let's have a look. Hello, Just make sure you know what Good morning, man. Things have been marked. Okay. I hear the Benson's boy got into a fancy New York college. He's gonna be a lawyer. Uh-huh. Are you going to buy anything? Right. Very nice. See you again soon. Good morning, sir. Okay. My girl. Good morning. All right, everybody. We are getting close to the end here, but you know what? I am going to take us. I think this is. We found those magnificent. That's good. Cool. I think this is the theater that they perform at, so I'm gonna see. Uh, morning, partner. <clears throat> Let there he is. To vote. I insist I'm sorry. that I deserve the right to vote. How you doing? Whoa. I'm sorry. Not such a big man now. I didn't mean I didn't oh, mean to do God. that. I didn't mean to do that. Uh see, I don't know why that happened. I was more just Clicking to look at her, then all of a sudden I'm I'm drawn on her. Sorry, sorry, lady. Not how I wanted that to go. Let's see. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh Help him out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let him know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Y'all see that? Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. 
during extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. Well, In an effort right. to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. We I met these more. odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. That's it! Yeah. I'm a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! <laughs> Poof! What the hell is I that? have mastered hypnosis! Telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. Bring it! And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This Robio! What are you doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a this show! <laughs> not like that, you're not! I give up. You amateurs. Oh. Oh. Go follow your brother. Oh. Well, that's our show. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. And what a wonderful oh, show it was. Uh, 
Well, tiny yeah. people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me. How about that? I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly oh, okay. the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bull. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, I have traveled all around the world, delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. Shoot. We'll point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is me! Yeah. Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Bring out some more air. <laughs> <laughs> that it always scares me. <laughs> now. Observe, as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done All and right. treat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Christ. Let's see! Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do that again. Hmm? All right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. A skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. And Benjamin Lazarus, I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Is no one man enough? All right, let's go. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take care. Just an illusion, after all. He weren't faking. He shot right at his mouth and he caught it. <laughs> yes! This yes! Truly! A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next oh. remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. Here's some more. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
Oh, incredible. Bring it's still it. hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> well, right. Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her All right, feet. Well, I'm sorry Miss to these last Robin people in Kaminsky. this show, but we've stayed for a few, seen some cool little things. <clears throat> <laughs> Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. Forty dollars and a letter from Miss Marjorie. All right, gang, well, we have kept you long enough here on this episode of Hey Dad Games. And uh, speaking of, love you, Dad. And to all of you cowpokes and other folks at home watching or viewing wherever you are, uh, thank you for taking the time uh, to watch. And uh, hopefully you saw something fun. Um, anyway, take care in the meantime, and uh, have a good one. Bye for now.